Hey Trinity Church, hope you're doing well today. As we anticipate getting together for our first in-person worship gathering on May 31st, we just want to put together a really short video for you to kind of show you a little bit of what you can expect as you come to worship this Sunday. So, at 9.30 is when we're going to be having worship, so you want to come a little bit earlier, obviously. Make sure you get parking and come on in here. But if you follow me, this is what you can expect. We're going to come in through this door. Follow me. The deacon will be opening the door for you. And when you get inside, they'll direct you either to go downstairs to the fellowship hall, or we're going to go up here to the connection center. So, follow me. So once you get to about right here, another deacon or two will then direct you where you can sit. We're going to sit people from the front to the back first. So, let's say you got a family of, of four. Here we go. Now let's say the first few pews or the chairs here are all filled, and you're going to sit down over here. So, sit down with your family, your four family members right here with you, and as long as you have four chairs between you and the next person or family, that's how you'd be seated. You want to keep social distancing, you know, as long as we got that going on, but we could be in worship together. Now, what can you expect when we have worship? Well, it's going to be kind of like what we had during the live stream process. We'll have the sermon and the worship going on in the sanctuary. It'll be live cast right here on a screen for everybody to see. We'll have a worship opening, a worship set, some praise music, things like that. We'll have some prayers, the sermon, and then, of course, we'll have the offering and we'll set you guys free. Now with that, what they're going to do is actually take you from the back first and dismiss you that way. And you'll go out the same door. And the good thing about this, keep praying for a nice day. So when you get outside in the parking lot, we can have fellowship, we can talk, we can gather again, as long as we're doing social distancing. Now for those of you who might not be too comfortable managing stairs, we will have the west door open for you as well. You'll come this way up the ramp, the deacon will open the door for you and you'll come right in here. And we'll proceed down the hall, and we'll seat you folks right here in the artifacts. Not only can you watch the service through the windows and hear that, we'll also have a screen TV here for you as well, just to make sure you catch everything. Now hopefully, as things continue to open up, we're going to get back to the sanctuary as soon as possible. We want to do that. Because the thing is, we know this is not what you want, but it's not what we want either. This is kind of the compromise that we've come up with. We want to make sure that we come back to church to worship, gather together, but also do it in the safest way possible. You know, it's certainly understandable that there might be churches in town that get together sooner, there might be some churches in town to get together after we do. The whole point is, this is what we've come up with through a lot of prayer and discernment and discussion. You know, the thing is, the Christian ethic is that we want to plan not for those who are healthy and strong. We want to think about those who are more vulnerable, who may be older, and think about them first. It's not because we're scared of this virus. We're concerned that we want to love those who may not be able to fight this off like we can. So, that's the way we approach this. Now again, as we come to worship on the 31st, please be in prayer for this. A lot of planning and preparation has gone to play for this. Not only with those who have been cleaning, but those who have been leading the worship services as well. Be in prayer for them. But when you get here, remember, we want to do this in a way that's full of grace and patience, waiting for the day that when finally, God willing, we can be together, kind of like what was before, getting together with fellow brothers and sisters and worshiping God. So, until it happens, let's plan for this Sunday and let's be in prayer for this and let's worship. See you then.